the king of the north! I am the dragon's daughter. By what right does the boss judge the lion? Hello, my sweet summer children. I'm back with some juice to get you through the long night. And guess what? The long night is almost over. Season 7 is around the corner, literally days away, and I'm about to explode. If you're pumped for Season 7, then wrap your house in the comments and let me know what banner you are flying going into Season 7. So, going into Season 7, we have to start thinking about what flashbacks if any we will get this season in the show we know Bran has the ability to see the past and the future the trailer revealed that we will likely get a flashback from the heart tree at Winterfell in season 7 Bran has a few visions at the heart tree in Winterfell in Dance of Dragons that we have seen partially those visions were of the past the first vision was of Ned cleaning his sword, which we have seen multiple times in Bran's visions. The second vision was Ned praying that John and Rob would grow up as brothers. We saw this vision played up super dramatically with the Tower of Joy. The third vision was Benjen and Lyanna playing with swords. We also saw that vision played up to complete cinematic glory. And this is where the vision stops so far on the show. But in the books, he goes even further further back into time and sees even more and these flashbacks could be groundbreaking if they are shown to the full cinematic glory as the Tower of Joy and Benton and Lyanna's sword fight. The other visions were a pregnant woman emerging from the black pool praying for a son to avenge her, then a slender girl on her toes kissing a knight as tall as Hodor, then a pale dark-eyed youth cutting three branches from a weirwood and shaping them into arrows. Then he sees the kings of winter, tall, hard, and stern in fur and chainmail. Next, he sees a bearded man forcing a captive onto his knees and a white-haired woman killing the captive with a bronze sickle. So there are five more visions that Bran has in Dance of Dragons that we have not seen yet on screen. I did two very in-depth videos on these visions a while back I'll link that at the top but I will briefly run through what these visions could be firstly Bran is going far back into time as the visions progress the tree is shrinking the pregnant woman could be Ned's mother or Hodor's mother it could be old Nan it could be the daughter of a ward king the tall knight could be Sir Duncan the tall it could be Hodor's father it could be just some random guy the pale, dark-eyed youth is believed to be Brandon Snow, the brother of the king who knelt and he was making weirwood arrows to kill the dragons during Aegon's conquest. Then we have the Kings of Winter, which are the Starks from thousands of years. But the most interesting vision is the white-haired woman killing the captive. The white-haired woman could be the Night Queen or the Ghost of High Heart or a Targaryen or Snowy Locks, which is the white-haired child of the forest. I'm more leaning towards the Night Queen, so we definitely could get these flashbacks in season seven and it could answer a lot of questions that we had i feel like a lot of people would also like to see the tourney of harrenhal and the knight of the laughing tree the tourney of harrenhal is where rhaegar crowned lyanna queen of love and beauty so i think it is possible but what i think is more possible is seeing directly who father john I think it would be more likely to see Lyanna's alleged abduction and also the battle on the trident between Rhaegar and Robert. Seeing Lyanna's abduction would answer if she was indeed kidnapped or if she went on her own free will. And seeing the battle on the trident, Bran would get to hear the name of the woman that Rhaegar whispered as he died. In the show, it is also interesting to note that Bran sees the burn them all vision. But that does not happen in the books, at least not in Bran's chapters. But someone in the books does see the burn them all vision and that person is Daenerys. When Daenerys goes to the House of Undying, Daenerys sees her father in the throne room saying, let him be king over cooked meat and charred bone. Bran also sees the vision of the Red Keep covered in snow, which is also something Daenerys sees in the show version of the House of the Undying. Daenerys also sees the Red Wedding while Rob, which Bran sees in the show, so Bran is getting some of Daenerys' visions from the House of the Undying. 
So it's very possible we could get some of Daenerys' other visions from the House of the Undying through Bran, which would mean possibly an adult Rago. We could see Rhaegar playing his harp and naming his child and saying his song is a song of fire and ice. Also, Bran's show visions, we know he has seen the future at least on one occasion. We've seen the wildfire blowing up before Cersei actually blows it up, but he has had two major downloads from the Weirwood Cloud, and the first time was in Season 4, and the last one was in Season 6. And in both vision downloads, we see dragon wings flying over Westeros. King's Landing to be exact. So even though we've seen no hints whatsoever that Daenerys will be in King's Landing or near the Red Keep, a dragon will fly over King's Landing. And the Red Keep, or at least the throne room, could be destroyed. The Red Keep is sprawling. It's made up of several towers. So the throne room can be destroyed without Maegor's hold fast being destroyed or without other parts of the castle being destroyed. With all that said, the flashback I am hoping for the most is the flashback to the Dawn Age and the first or the second Long Night. At some point, Bran is going to have a flashback and see how the White Walkers were defeated the first two times. Let me know what flashbacks you want to see the most and which flashbacks will actually be fruitful and show us something that we don't know already. As always, thanks for watching. Like this video if you like it. Please click that subscribe Shame. button and hit that notification Shame. bell and join the sweet Shame. summer family. Okay, Shame. my sweet summer children. Shame. Have a good day.